All right, all right, all right. That is enough, guys. What is up, everybody? Apathy back in the building with another video today. And I'm going to be talking... All right, first of all, before I continue the video, yes, this Domination game has started. But I try my best to find a game that's fresh and new. And either way, Domination's game tend to be a little bit long. So it shouldn't really be a problem, you know, starting in a little bit late, like one or two minutes late. But in today's video, what I really want to talk about is something... You guys probably saw it in my old video or my recent video. Talking, to I talked about how... You know, things are better than us. You know, I talked about how we won the 2K. And you know how I'm so happy and how, you know, how much less stress I have on myself and my shoulders. Because I made quite a couple videos, you know, talking about how this is going to be a stressful, my most stressful month of Call of Duty. And how we're not in a good spot, blah, blah, blah. And the list goes on. So today, you know, I do have some good news. I do bear some good news. And, you know, this is exactly why I decided to do this video and talk to you guys. Because, you know... Posting gameplay and doing all this other stuff. It's cool and interesting, but I'm pretty sure you guys like to hear, you know, hear, hear a little bit about myself or something that's currently happening. Oh, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm one from a rate. I'm one from a wraith. Oh my god, I'm cooking stream. Ah, I said stream. Holy shit, I'm too used to streaming. <laughs> I apologize for that, but did get the wraith. I'm cooking a little bit. What I want to talk about today is, you know, things. Are finally good boys and girls in case there's any girls watching this video things are so much better now I'm honestly very happy couldn't be happier couldn't ask for you know it's just basically what happened if you aren't caught up with you know what, what went down we won the 2k uh, this Sunday which was like I mean what tomorrow it's today secondly Friday so it's been it's been five days okay since we won the last 2k but we did win the 2k we did obtain a lot of pro points and we are currently sitting at the eighth seed now what does this mean this means we're most likely going to have a spot in pool play at atlanta more than likely now there's a chance that it doesn't happen and there's a chance things might fail you know uh but the chance is very very small and i don't know how i'm 26 and no completely cooking i i'm mind blown but uh there's a chance the chance is very 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 extremely small that it could happen Basically, there's one more 2K that counts for Atlanta, which is this weekend, uh, you know, this Sunday. And if we somehow lose, like, get top, we would have to get, like, top 16, top, even top 32. And let's say we lose that and we don't do well. And another team that's close to us pass us, like, it's, it's really hard for it to happen. There is that chance, but it's very small. So the chances are looking really high that we're going to make pool play, you know, all that hard work. You guys understand, uh, after we lost, after we got like top 32 in the last 2K or top 16, I don't know what the hell we got. We got some really shitty placing. Uh, we were like, fuck GBs, fuck all this, we're tired of this shit. And we, no, no, no. Oh, I saw 35 and no, I still keep the streak alive. 36 and no. But we somehow, you know, we just grinded. We just started working our asses off. We, we were scrimming every single day for about five to six hours. And it's, we just gave it 100% when we scrimmed. We weren't half-assing it. You know, we went hard. If we weren't communicating, if we were half-assing it, we'd all get uh, one, one or two, or we'd all get pissed. And we just go off on our teammates. And it's just paying off so much. And I don't understand how the fuck I'm 37 and 0. Wow. I'm cooking. I got a warden on deck. I got, I don't, whatever. Hopefully I can keep it alive. But yeah, things are going good for us. Uh, basically, pool play for ESWC. Yes, we will be attending that, or more than likely, we will be attending that. Uh, for pool play for that, that's gonna be a little bit tricky. We'd probably have to, we'd have to win this 2K, and probably place top two in the next 2K or top top four in the next 2K. And there's that chance that we we can possibly get it. No, well, that's close. But the chances are not as big as Atlanta. Of course, Atlanta. Like I said, it's looking very bright. It's looking very promising. And honestly, I'm I'm very happy about that. Like, I went from being str insanely stressed out. If we would have placed, like, because the thing is, the 10th team placed, like, top uh, top four or two, which was Chance. They were the team we were competing against. And I believe they're the 10th seed now. But if they, if they, if Chance's team would have, like, let's say they, they placed fourth. If we would have placed fourth as well. And not beat FaZe and LG and Optic and all the teams we beat. Let's say we didn't place, we didn't win it. We would have been in the same placing as they would have. They would have still be ahead of us by like 400 points, 500 points. So basically, we are in a solid spot. Winning that 2K was everything. I've never been so like I've won 2Ks with prizes like 800 dollars each. Like 
really, really good prizes, right? I have. I have done that before. But, and I just got another warden. It's lit. But, this is, this is something still more special. Oh. Oh my god, this is something way more special than all that because this determines a pool play spot in Atlanta that could potentially give us a better placing and even have a, we have a higher chance of winning. And I didn't even know there's a guy there, but yeah, there was a guy there. And on top of that, you know, it just gives us pro points for our future. And you know, there's a lot of things that's going to revolve around pool uh, uh, pro points in the near future. No, 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 no! I was 49 and oh, oh my god. I'm 51. I'm still cooking. Oh my god. Guys. Guys. I'm 50 and 1. This is this is an insane game. Probably one of the most insane pub games I've had probably so far. Even though I don't play pub much, I do. I used to at the start, but I just play pubs now. Uh, usually only when when I'm making a live com or something like that. I love to hop on, you know, I'll try to pub stomp a little bit while talking to you guys. It's always a fun thing to do. You know, rather than talking over, like, some competitive gameplay. Even though I might do that in the near future. But, we, like I said, we're in a really good spot. I feel like the world was just, has been lifted off my shoulders. You know, I feel so happy, content. And I just want to say, you know, thank you guys for always sticking by us, sticking thin. You know, the real, true Envy supporters. And, you know, all, all the people who really support us and, you know, always have our backs. And, you know, I've been streaming a lot lately. I'm trying to get back into the streaming grind. Because that's something I love doing as well. And I've been trying to, you know, stream almost every day. And I'm trying to get a schedule set in. And, you know, put in more effort and time into it. And you just missed your new tube. How much does that suck? Probably a lot, pal. I feel bad for you. But, you know, things have been going a lot a lot better. Uh, we obviously still have two, like I said, two big events coming up. Atlanta and ESWC. Uh, even though we are looking better. And, you know, we're looking like a stronger team. Uh, there's still... There's still some mistakes here and there, and I'm really confident that we can fix it in time. And I'm honestly very excited and really confident to be, you know, attending my attending these LAN events a lot more prepared than we did for Las Vegas. A lot of you guys know I had a wedding, I had a honeymoon. I ended up missing about eight to nine days, and it sucked because it did hurt uh, my team and it did hurt our our practice and all that stuff. You know, it obviously did, but that's that's nothing we could do, right? That's something that. You know, I'm not. I can't just miss my wedding. It's. I can't just say. You know, I'm not gonna go to my honeymoon. You know, my like. It's just something we. Could, it's just a one in a life thing, right? It's not ever gonna happen again. It's not like next month. I'm gonna tell my team. You know, I'm going away for eight days again. You know, I have a I have a wedding to attend. So it's nothing like that. But you know, it is what it is. The the damage was already caused. Uh, at least gaming wise, you know, I had the time of my life and I was so happy during the whole thing. But gaming wise, you know, the damage is already caused. So the only thing we could do is learn from the from the future and work hard for the future. Something I always go by is don't worry about the past. You know, don't don't worry what happened. Always focus for focus like focus and work hard for your future. Because think about the past, reminiscing and being like, oh, I should have done this, should have done that. Like, yeah, I mean, you, you could just kill yourself. Like, not kill yourself. That's the wrong word to use, but. You can just like keep hurting yourself and you know just keep making you more mad or more sad or you can you know be like just learn from it all right next time i'm not gonna do this next time you know what i'm gonna learn from this the situation i'm gonna do next time i'll do this and just work hard for your future and really work uh towards what you want to do and, and what you want to get in life and that's something i go by you know I, I always work hard i try to let go of the past and just keep going hard and going hard for the future pushing through all the obstacles pushing through everything and that's how you what you guys and all of you should do as well but Crazy, crazy game. I was 49 and 0 at one point, 72 and 3, and it's not like I was really camping. A lot of you guys saw I was just running around and gunning and just doing my thing while talking to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Glad I could deliver some really good news. Uh, hopefully, we can make you proud at Atlanta ESWC. Until uh, next time, pals. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Apathy out. Oh, yeah, and check my live stream. I'm like live every day. I'll leave a link in the chat below. Peace out.